I think there's going to be a lot more M60 usage in our near future here. Actually, in our now future. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we played this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the Wasteland. Look at that. We got a little wandering horde out there. Uh, wasteland biome. Um, however, we are currently spending time in uh, the, the one and only very small green biome on the entire map. And we are working on getting geared up and leveled up so that we can go conquer uh, this mega city down to the south here. So that is what we're about. All right, so guys, um, not a whole lot really to update you on since the last one, at least in terms of the, the horde base itself. Uh, what we're, uh, our primary objective for this episode is, is I, I am now into tier three quests. Uh, so I took this tier three fetch, uh, which is just in town here. I'm trying to do as many you know of the quests in the green biome as possible. Um, it is the one. It is one of the bungalow houses. So I, I mean, we'll we'll have to wait till we get there. But it almost looks like it's the same bungalow house we've already done. But maybe not. Maybe not. So we're now in tier three, which is cool. So we get a little bit better, uh, you know, reward and XP for those. Uh, so we're gonna do that today. A couple of things to update you on. Uh, the horde base is pretty much done. The only thing that I have left to do is I need to upgrade the uh, uh, the above ground platform. Uh, for the shoot uh, with steel. So I'm continuing to crank out the steel. I went, I went and did a whole nother uh, mining session in the big iron mine. And uh, so we're just, you know, I, I've got these three forges working on steel production right now. This one continues to make concrete. So, you know, we're just cranking out the, the concrete like crazy. And let's see, this is still making gunpowder. I've, I've got... Uh, uh, quite a bit of ammunition uh, supplies they've been working on. I got these guys cranking out 762 ammo in preparation for uh, Horde 77, which is coming up in two days, in game days from now. I've also made uh, quite a few explosives. So we got uh, a bunch of grenades, a bunch of pipe bombs here. And, uh, you know, because we're going to be using those uh, when we actually do the Horde. Our base design is based upon. Um, uh, explosives. Okay, so we're going to use explosives. And uh, in that, uh, speaking of that, rather, I am now a level, I'm level three in demolitions expert. So I am TNT. I'm dynamite. And um, I might at some point take this up to, to Rocket Band 2, but I'm switching my focus now to Fortitude for uh, for the skills, because I want to get Machine Gunner, I want to get machine, machine Gunner up to, to Special Forces at least. Really important because, you know, our M60 is our oh shit weapon, and um, I, I need to get those skills up. Now, another thing that I changed up is my sniper rifle situation. I do have a really nice uh, marksman rifle. It does 107 range to damage, but I have no skill at present in Deadeye. Uh, that's zero. And so I've noticed that, you know, when I try and snipe something from, you know, any distance away, I, I miss it a lot. And so what I've decided to do is I put a 4x scope on an AK, um, and I'm just going to use this, for the time being anyways, as my sniper rifle. Now, it doesn't have as much damage uh, per single shot, uh, quite a bit less, in fact, than the marksman rifle, but I've got more skill in this, and I'm going to continue increasing the skill in machine gutter, and the fact that this is an automatic weapon, so, you know, I can, I can squeeze off many more shots, uh, you know, per... What am I trying to say? DPS. This has a lot more DPS uh, than the marksman rifle. So, well, the, yeah, I guess I guess it it, it does. I mean, marksman rifle does is it is a semi-automatic weapon. It does fire that particular one fires four shots per magazine. Uh, but the, again, the main reason I did it is just because I I just don't have those sharpshooter skills or those uh, what the hell are those called again? A uh, dead eye. I just don't have those dead eye skills. So uh, we're gonna use this as our sniper sniper rifle solution for the time being. Every one of my guns has a rad remover now. Because I can make that. I found the, the recipe for it, or the schematic for it at some point earlier on. So all of these weapons have the rad remover because, you know, we're we're running into more and more irradiated Z's as, we, as our game stages uh, climb. So I think that's pretty much it for updating you guys on what's going on. 
Uh, we are up to uh, 54,000 dukes on the coins there, so we're doing pretty good on the money. And um, that money's primarily going to be used to purchase, when the time comes, the uh, Grandpa's Forgetting Elixir, so we can do a respec. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to do that, though. Probably not quite yet. What we might end up doing is, you know, waiting until we're ready to, to really go into the city and start working it. Uh, and, and at that point, you know, do the respec. But we'll see. I haven't really decided for sure. In terms of the base itself, the non-horde base, the main base, however you want to call it, uh, I am going to start working on finishing up this upper uh, upper floor. And I'd like to do a little bit of painting on this place, too, and actually make it look a little nicer. But I wanted to make the whole thing out of concrete because, of course, it's going to be a lot stronger. And as you can see, I installed a light in the base. So even if I turn my 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 light off, um, we have we have a, a nice well lit base now uh, by putting the lantern up into the ceiling. All right, I think that's it for all the updates that I have for you. So let's see. Oh, I know what else I was going to show you. I made a bunch of meat stews. I bought the recipe for this from the trader. I don't know if I, I can't remember if I did that on camera or not. I also bought a whole bunch of potatoes uh, from the trader. And, um, you know, I had some corn already, too. So so I made beef stew. So now we have we have really good food. We still have a, a taco. That's uh, so a fish tacos, too. So we have one fish tacos and nine meats, too. So we're doing excellent on our food situation for the, for the moment. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and uh, take off. The other thing that I have uh, planned for... Are they both dead? Uh, the other thing that I have planned for the base is I'm going to create another uh, ramp on that side. So that way I don't have to always, you know, turn around every time I want to leave. If I, if I just bail off the side of here, I usually take a little bit of damage. So that's going to happen. I need to finish, you know, clearing out the runway. That's got to get done. And I need to also repair uh, some of my uh, iron spikes down there because we've got a couple of... Um, you know, wandering hordes come in and do a little bit of damage. So that's where we're at with that. Most of that stuff I'll probably just do off camera and then update you guys, you know, when it's uh, when it's ready to go. Okay, let's go ahead and do this, uh, tier, our first tier three quest. So this ought to be fun. It is a fetch quest. Uh, there weren't any fetch and clear quests in the green biome from, uh, you know, when I checked the, the trader, so... We'll just do, we'll start off with this fetch quest and we'll go from there. I believe I can continue, even when we get up into tier four, I believe I can also continue doing tier three quests too. It seems to me like the trader will offer, uh, you know, one of the, the previous tier quests in his group of quests. Uh, I don't know if he always does, but it seems like he frequently does, so. All right, so this is our house here. Yeah, you know, I we haven't actually done this house. Okay. All right, yeah, we haven't done this house. I think I've I've actually done it myself in the past. It looks very familiar. But uh we haven't done it uh uh in this series. So I'm trying to think uh, or remember where the fat loots are at the end of the tunnel. I don't know if this is a basement house, a bedroom in the corner house, or an attic house in terms of the loots. So... My guess is that, you know, because it's having a start on the roof, it's probably going to either be in the basement or in a room downstairs. That would be my guess. So, all right, let's 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 see if we can cheese this and uh, do a double loot on it. Yeah, I, I'm, I've probably done this house, but I just... Oh, shit. I just don't remember. I'm not real familiar with it. So, not sure where that's coming from. We have a trellis here, but it doesn't it doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, tell you what, let's uh let's just break in 
through here and see what we got going on. This is a kitchen. Is that a landmine? It sure as hell is. Wow. <laughs> Dang, we'll have to remember that's there when we uh, do the quest for realsies. All right, that doesn't look like a loot room there. Let's just kind of tap into this corner and see uh, what's going on in here. Sometimes the loot rooms in these places are like in a corner bedroom as opposed to like in a basement. So that looks like the stairs coming down from up above. So there most likely is a basement here. I wonder if this is significant for any particular reason. I don't know. I'm just trying to see if there's a... an obvious uh, basement entrance somewhere. Let's just take a look in here real quick. That's just part of the kitchen. What I want to see is... Is there a basement in this place? So let's, uh, let's get this out. We're going to have Zekers jump us here in a second. Is it? Okay. Yep, there is a basement. Okay, so... Um... We're just going to jump down there. Let's get healed up here. And we got the... Uh, we got the M60 ready to go. You know what I should have done? Where is that coming from? Sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Let's just block those two areas for the moment. All right, what's down here? Yeah, that's got to be... Okay, here we go. We got a... Well, we got a crawler in here. So that takes care of her. Gotcha. All right, we should probably block this this hole here. <laughs> All right. So let's take a peek in here. The bag up there. With some scrap armor. Not really interested in doing a full loot. I just want to find the, you know, the main loot. So, so that's probably, that's where you probably come down from up above. Uh, all right, let's go back through here. Put that there. Nice. See, that was a, that was a single headshot on a feral, uh, just because I have, you know, I have better skill in the machine gun than I do in the marksman rifle. That's what we want to start seeing, because we've been pretty weak sauce on our guns up to this point, except for the shotgun. Oh well, shit! Where did all you guys come from? Wow. 
Okay. I'm surprised those guys didn't wake up. Oh, she's still awake. <laughs> there. Um, I'm surprised those guys didn't wake up the first time around. Jeez Louise. Okay. Hey, what do we got down there? Okay. Is there anything else in here? There's something back here. Backpack. Uh, we'll take that. We'll scrap this. Whoops. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, those guys, those other guys should have woken up when I, when I shot the other one, but I guess not. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. Looks like we found the fat loots. So it's right by this pipe. So I wonder if that pipe is, in fact, a clue. Oh, interesting. Okay, we'll look at that, but let's uh, let's look at the fat loots first. Okay, we'll take all of that. These we'll just scrap. All right, so we got a nice steel helmet, and then the rest of this is just iron armor. I'm just going to sell that. Oh, uh, I already have like two of these, and I think I have the schematic for it too. So we might not that we get a bunch of money for it, but we might sell that. But we'll see. Okay, so I guess that's it for the fat loots. Um, let's let's look at something here. So if we go, uh, actually, first of all, okay. So this helmet is definitely an improvement. Let's switch that out. We'll repair it. Good. Okay, so we got an upgrade on our helmet. Uh, this will probably... Mm, that's a, that's a quite a bit of money. We might actually end up selling that. Um, I'm not really planning on making armor in this playthrough, so I'm not really too worried about the armor parts. Uh, these... That's probably worth fixing up and selling. This probably is not. So let's grab that just to save a spot there. Okay. Now, I want to check out... Where's my shovel? Oh, incidentally, I, I found enough parts to finally make my uh, blue shovel, too. I just want to confirm where this comes out at, just for future reference. So is this, like, under the porch, or what's the deal here? It's on the it's on the side that the oil company's on. Ah, okay, so it's right right down here, right underneath this and the sawhorse. Okay, cool. Now we know where it is for future reference. Good deal. All right, guys, let's uh, drop this stuff off and we will start the quest legit. I don't want any of that stuff. We'll throw all this in there. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that we have a, a full tank in the auger, just in case we run into, you know, a safe or something we have to break in there. Of course, we do have, uh, we have 18 lockpicks, but I like to take, well, you know what? We got the pick. We got the pick with us. So you know, let's go ahead and drop the auger and the gasoline off. That'll give us two more slots. I uh, don't care about that. Uh, these, we can just scrap a little of those. We don't need to carry those with us either. And that gives us some decent uh, space there in our inventory. Okay. All right, let's do this for realsies now. Here we go. Tier 3 fetch quest. We will do it. Um, you take the path that the devs want us to take. So we'll start up above here. Whoa. We got a glower down there. I think there's going to be a lot more M60 usage in our near future here. Actually, in our now future. 
because you know we're getting that skill up now and uh we might as well start using the big gun i'll still use a shoddy too uh when i can but uh we're gonna get our, our the most bang for our buck yes pun intended uh with the m60 and we got plenty of uh you know materials now for making uh ammo so we can uh, be a little bit more liberal with our our ammunition is there somebody in here here let's uh, repair that this is just a closet right okay it doesn't look like there's anything in the closet There you are. Okay. Let's just block that for now. Actually, no, that's the way we're supposed to go. Um Well, we'll still we'll still go that way, but let's since we got a a guy here, let's deal with him even though he is just an easy. So we'll leave that there. Oh, you know what? I should have probably made our uh, um, land claim blocks. Tell you what, let's just let's just try it without the land claim blocks, and we'll see how things go. I might regret this later, but all right, let's see if we can get it. Made some pretty good damage off of him. Okay. Looks good. Brass doorknob. I don't see... Oh, here we go. Not that we really needed any of that stuff, but... Okay, so now we come out here, we go up to the attic. All right, we got a dude in there. We fully loaded on everything. Okay, let's see if we can take him out. Nice. Okay, so far so good. Let's see if we can buy ourselves just a little bit of time here if something tries to come up the stairs. And what? I'm going to say, what are all these things on the floor here? Okay, we've got some moolah. Some Daenerys. Got a bookcase. Uh, we already know both of those. Okay, looks like that's just a closet area. Whoopsie. Okay, so yeah, that was the room that we killed the crawler in earlier. Uh, let's harvest this, I guess. Got a bathroom in here. OK, 
Okay. We will wrench the uh, sink to get the brass from it. All right, let's do a little bit of uh, inventory management here. We don't care about the jars. Do we need to drink? Yeah, let's just go ahead and drink now. Uh, I didn't bring any food with me, did I? Darn it. I'm going to scrap this. I'm not going to keep lead. This we can scrap. I think we're good for everything else. We don't need to keep nitrate. Okay. That just goes outside. Okay, let's head on downstairs. Okay, our, our satchel is going to be down here. In fact, is that right? It's probably not right there, is it? Whoa. Where's she coming from? Probably through here. Scrap a doodle that. Ow. Oh, she's trying to come through there. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. There we go. Oh, we got a twofer on that one. Okay, let's check behind these pictures. And we'll get the radiator too. Is there something back here? Nope. Oh, all right, so let's uh, pop through here. Nice, we got some chili. I'm saving all the chili for chili dogs when we eventually come across the recipe. Got a little honey, that's not bad. Looks like we already checked that one. Uh, okay, so... Bullets in the dresser. That's an interesting little alcove there. goes back out to the living room. Scrap, chuck, chuck. Uh, I think that's good. Pasta, hasta la pasta. Let's eat that right now. That'll get us get our uh, stamina camp back up a little bit, and I think we're good. Okay, let's motivate. Let's motivate on out of here. Did we? There, no, no bookshelves for us this time. Oh, remember that thing? <laughs> Not gonna get us. Not this time, baby. 
Whenever you see a cooking pot on the floor in this game, be highly suspicious of it. Okay, get rid of that. Scrap a doodle, scrap a doodle. Don't care about that. Get rid of that. I'm going to actually scrap the plastic too. Oh, wow, look at that. Two yuccas. Let's take one of those right now. We didn't need to do that. I shouldn't have done that. Darn it. <laughs> oh, well. I'm so used to always being thirsty that I don't even think about it sometimes. Okay, and then uh, we'll hit the sink. I wish you could still use the wrench to repair like you, in older versions of this game. Then I could just keep the wrench down here and repair, you know, the blocks when I put them down. But that's not the way it works anymore. Okay, so this door just goes outside, I believe. Yeah, okay, so we don't need to do anything with that. Okay, basement time. Right, that takes care of those guys. An actual vending machine. Uh, we don't have any money on us, though. Okay. If I remember, I'll come back down here after we're done and get that food. I probably won't remember, knowing me, but we'll see. Before we go into there, let's just check over here real quick. Oh, I just now it just now occurred to me that we didn't get our satchel. <laughs> so we'll go. We'll get we will. We'll get it. I'm too busy trying to get to the fat loot at the end of the tunnel. Mulas. All right, let's go. Let's go back upstairs and get that satchel real quick. It's right over here somewhere. Uh. Hmm. It's, it seems to be suggesting that it's in this island. But I don't see it in there. I wonder if it's down below. Or is it up above? No, I don't think it would be up there because that's even that's a half block. Boy, that's a little confusing. What am I missing here? What am I missing? Ah, that's what I'm missing. Okay, it was in fact a downstairs after all. <laughs> that's gotten, that's, you know, messed me up before where it's actually right underneath your feet, but on the next floor. It's not the first time that's happened to me. Uh, all right, let's um take this out. And we'll block that. 
then there was a there was a satchel up in here or yeah there it is or i mean not a satchel but a uh, duffel bag when we came in here the first time doesn't look like there is now okay um can we get anybody's attention guess not we're gonna have to go in there There's anything behind there. Okay, scrap a doodle. Throw away a doodle. Scrap a doodle. Actually, no. We're going to throw that stuff away, too. Here. Nope, nope, nope. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Okay. I think this is four slots. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can get a lucky headshot off here. Yep, got her. Now, the last time we did this, though, we jumped, ran in there and then we got jumped. So let's just see if we can get some attention. Come on. Seekers, what the hell? You're going to make me do this the hard way, aren't you? All right, let's break this. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put that down there. There we go. That's what we need to do to trigger him. You guys get shot in the nuts. Okay. Hopefully that's it. Um, let's see. Where do we go? Where do we go from here? Oh, through there. Right. Okay. There was something back here. Shoddy shells. We'll take those. We will take those. And we have made it to the end of the line. Okay, let's uh, see what we got. Serrated, no, that's a sharpened blade mod. Um, what do we have on here now? Oh, wait, we have the same thing on there, okay. We'll just probably hang on to that. Can I put that onto my ax? I can, but I, I don't want to. Well, actually, I don't even know if I can, but I don't want to anyway. Okay, let's uh, bust open the shoddy messiah and the chamois crate. We will take that. In fact, let's just eat that right now. And what do we got in here? Ooh, nice. Blue Magnum. I actually have a purple Magnum already. Uh, but the blue Magnum could actually potentially be better. And here's the good stuff. All right, we got another nade. We got a knife. Okay, nothing super good, but, you know, it's okay. It's all good. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. I'll probably... What happens when you scrap this? You just get paper? I mean, it's not hardly worth even selling. Oh, you get scrap iron. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's scrap that. Um, if I can just make two more slots, we don't have to come back down here. Well, I wanted to come back down here for the vending machine anyway. So, all right, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, if you didn't hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. Really appreciate that. And um, in the next episode... It is day 76, so depending upon what I get done, you know, I've, I, I kind of went over a few things at the start of this episode that I need to still do, like working on the base and whatnot. Um, so depending upon how much I get done, we might actually do Horde Night 77 in the next episode. We'll just see how things go. But uh, my MO from here on out is, you know, we'll finish, we'll finish up the base, 
uh, construction projects that we have going on. And then, you know, we're really just going to work a bunch of tier three quests for a while. Um, and, you know, of course, do the Horde Knights uh, in our new Horde base. And um, But I think we're getting close to being ready, you know, to start uh, thinking about doing a respec and, and tackling uh, the city uh, in earnest here. So, oh, you know, what? I, don't have any, I don't have any coins with me. I should probably keep some of those on my bike. Uh, so anyway, we'll see, we'll just see how things go. So possibly Horde 77 in the next episode. If not, uh, if I do another one before then, it'll most likely, you know, be some more tier three questing. All right, guys, that's it. Have a good one. We'll catch you later. Stay safe. Bye-bye.